the libero has to be very cunning. Um, I teach my liberos to think of their position as like a small dog going after a tennis ball. It takes a lot of anticipation also. So to create a, to be a cunning libero, you must almost be able to use the force, like Star Wars. You have to be able to anticipate. Um, what I find is most important about a good libero is knowing where to be on the court when your teammates are shifting and moving. Mainly the gaps. A lot of things I see um, out where I coach, a lot of weaknesses is a lot of points are scored in the gaps. I see that 80% of uh, points are scored in the gaps. I call it the black hole, which is pretty much between the um, the six and the three, or between the three and the six, like right in the middle there. And that's a big job for liberals, especially when it comes to a jump serve going down, or just a serve, period. But I see about 80% points scored in that gap. Um, a lot of people, the, the, the faults are not having a quick libero and also bad formations. So um, you got to be cunning. You have to know where the gaps are and where they're going actually and where they are going to be. Like I said, volleyball to me is not a, a, a sport played in the present, it's played in the future. So you have to know where your players are going to be so you can be in the gap anticipating where the ball might go. And of course, um, you have to have good peripheral of the opposing team to actually calculate where you should be at. It's not too hard to be a cunning libero. You just have to have the second sight. You have to use the force. Um, if you want to learn these uh, techniques, um, give me a call or contact me at Rio Rancho Volleyball, the, where the District 12 resides. Um, so that's pretty much pretty much it. it it's, it's sounds simple and it can be simple if you just anticipate where the ball is going to be, use the force, and most important of all, trust your sisters, trust the sisterhood. A lot of times I see delayed reactions from a libero because they're expecting uh, the sisters to or their teammates to get that ball but a lot of times at least where I am out here that doesn't happen so then uh, you know you, you as a as a libero as I teach my liberals I tell them you have to be like a, a semi truck who's honking the horn and tell them to get out of the way so when you're saying I got it make you got to scare your teammates and they move um, so that's uh, just be cunning um, use use the force uh, which means just filling having a feel for the ball um, I do uh, training uh, techniques and drills uh, very similar to uh, Shaolin Kung Fu so um, about time my libero is is fully trained though you can never be fully trained but about time she's trained she can anticipate pretty good where that ball is going to be just by having to feel for uh, the energy of that ball. Um, so that's basics of being a cunning libero. Uh, later I will share some drills that I uh, do with my girls or with my liberos. So if you want some intense, well, uh, mental, strong mentality libero training, give me a call or contact me. Till then, see you on the other side. Fear is the enemy. Trust is the armor. Oh, swing, 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 till your heart begins to sing. Let your kisses fly away and swing, swing, swing. Here and there, you'll find rhythm everywhere. All the world's gone crazy about this damn new thing. Syncopation's got you in a mellow refrain. Then something tells you that you're not blue again.